Hello to everybody that's starting to arrive. Welcome. We're going to get started in a few minutes. If you're looking at this, you can see both of my dogs in the shot. Pretty cool. Uh, my little dog on the chair behind my shoulder, that's Lola. And this is Daisy, my multi poo. Lola is a trussel. So that's a combination of Chihuahua and Brussels Griffon Terrier. So we'll probably get started in about one minute. Five o'clock is the start time. So hopefully everybody will be ready to rock and roll in a minute or so. I won't be able to answer any comments uh, because I have <laughs> my hands full. And I have some questions that were already sent in, but if we have time and once I don't need to have the phone on the tripod, I can certainly answer any other questions if we have time. This is a 30 minute class today. Say hi, Daisy Doodle. <laughs> she's a good girl. I know she's good. You were so silly. That's not a good massage position right there. Oh. Okay, it's five o'clock. Are you ready, rock and roll doodle? Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the class. I want to give a special thank you to Primal and Healthy Spot for sponsoring our class today. If you RSVP'd on Eventbrite for today's event, Primal is sharing a special offer. Okay, I hope you guys can all see this. A uh, special offer with our class attendees. So 10% off on any Primal purchase, either in-store or online. If this is the code you're going to use. Plus, you will receive a free two-pound butcher's blend or fresh topper by stopping by any Healthy Spot location. And as you see here, the promo code online is 10% off and you just uh, type in massage 10 as your promo code. Stop it, Daisy. Um, and I wanna also mention that this massage 10 code can be used to get a $10 discount on any canine massage therapy session that I provide. So if that's something you're interested in, you would just go to my website, dancingdogmassage.com, fill out the online intake form, and where it says, how did you find out about me? Just mention this Instagram class and the massage 10 code. And that way I'll know you're eligible for $10 off any canine massage therapy session. Also, uh, these offers will be sent out to you via email later on tonight. And don't forget after this event is over, please post a pic of your pet relaxing and tag at Healthy Spot and at Primal Pets for a chance to win a Woof From Home prize pack. Ooh, I want one of those. All right, so uh, a little bit about myself. My name is Gene Rukavina. I am the owner of Dancing Dog Massage. Uh, I am a registered veterinary technician in the state of California since 2000. In 2015, I became certified as a canine massage therapist and I launched Dancing Dog Massage in August of 2015 and it's been a blast ever since. I mentioned my website at dancingdogmassage.com if you want to learn more about me and what I do and the services that I provide. You can find me on Instagram at dancingdoggene. Pretty easy to, to find me there. You can, all, you can always shoot me a message there if I don't answer your question today, or you can reach out through the contact info on my website. All right, so I'm gonna set Daisy aside for a second. The first thing I wanna do is talk about the benefits of canine massage, okay? Because this is, this is kind of the one thing that everybody wonders about. Why should I 
pay money to have somebody professionally massage my dog. And if you've ever had a massage yourself, you know how good it makes you feel. And the cool thing about these benefits is they're exactly the same benefits that you're gonna receive if you have a massage yourself. So they translate directly to how dogs feel. So I think the number one benefit that most people probably know already is the fact that massage improve, improves the blood flow, improves the circulation. Why is that so important? Well, because blood is what carries oxygen and nutrients throughout the body. So the faster you can get that blood circulating and flowing, the faster you can get that oxygen and those important nutrients to areas of the body that might really need it, especially areas that are healing, recovering from an injury, things like that. It also reduces stress and relaxes the body. And a lot of people laugh at this one. They're like, well, how can my dog be stressed out? Why would my dog be stressed out? But we all know of things like separation anxiety, for example. Anxiety is stress. Dogs feel separation anxiety. Uh, I know dogs that get stressed when it's really windy outside, like it's been here lately. I know dogs that get stressed out from things like a vacuum cleaner or when it's garbage day and those big trucks come around, uh, there's a lot of reasons why dogs get stressed. And so massage can really help if you have a dog that's stressed out about something. Uh, it's important because it increases their flexibility and it helps uh, their soft tissue be more flexible. You want your dog to be as flexible as possible. If they start losing that flexibility, then other things can start to happen. If your dog has arthritis, it can really help reduce the discomfort that's associated with arthritis. Uh, it Because it speeds up the blood flow, obviously that also translates into helping to uh, eliminate bodily waste products and toxins because how do they get rid of that? They go to the bathroom. And so massage speeds all that up. And I always tell my clients after the session, that they can expect their dog is gonna to have to go to the bathroom sooner than they might normally expect. It also helps to maintain a really good body posture and balance. This is really, really important. Uh, and a lot of times I can tell, for example, when a dog is walked with the old fashioned collar leash approach versus the harness approach. So hopefully everybody watching this right now uses a harness when they walk their dogs, because if you don't, you're going to cause imbalance in your dog. I guarantee you there's no way you're keeping track of how much time you're spending on one side versus the other side. With a harness, you have a nice center of gravity right there between the shoulders typically. And so it's gonna reduce the imbalancing that would be caused just from walking your dog, okay? It helps injured muscles heal faster. It, it helps improve your dog's performance and athletic performance. A lot of my clients tell me they're amazed how their dog changes after a session, how it's more active, it's moving better, it has more energy. So massage is a really powerful thing, okay? Let's, let's add one more little thing here, really quick, a few more. Um, it also helps to loosen and soften your dog's scar tissue. You'd be surprised at, at what can linger there on the surface, depending on what they've been through. They oftentimes have a buildup of scar tissue that massage can help soften and even remove. It helps prevent atrophy, especially if you have a dog that's more of a couch potato or maybe is in the house a lot, maybe doesn't get as much exercise as it would like. Uh, this can really help prevent muscle atrophy because once again, if you're not doing a lot of exercise, if the dog's not moving around, guess what's gonna suffer first? The extremities, because they're not getting enough circulation. So the increased blood flow and circulation helps uh, prevent that atrophy due to inactivity. It helps promote muscle tone and range of motion, which is really important for your dog. And it also reduces stiffness and provides a lot of comfort. I have a lot of elderly dogs as clients because of that very thing. All right, so those are some of the benefits and you can read about all these benefits on the website as well. All right, so let me get my uh, dog again here. Come here, Daisy. Oh, 
we'll talk a little bit about canine massage. Okay, we talked about the benefits. I mentioned uh, something as simple as harness walking versus leash collar walking can be a huge difference. And when, like I said, this is Daisy. She's the multi-poo of all multi-poos right there. She just got groomed the other day, so she's looking pretty, pretty posh, okay? So uh, a lot of people ask me, what can I do at home for my dog? What can I do to, you know, increase the bond with my dog, do some massage on my own? What's going what's gonna to help my dog that I can do? So if you're watching my hands right now, I'm actually touching the tricep muscle. It's like our muscle here, but uh, yeah, right. And Daisy's like, yeah. And it's a really good place to start. But I will warn you, if you start massaging your dog's triceps like this and they realize what it's like and what it's about, they're going to come up to you. They're going to come up to you like this. They're going to sit facing away from you and they're just going to sit there and they're going to wait for you to start rubbing their triceps. Because I tell you, all my dog clients, after they figure out what a massage is, uh, my human customers, they tell me they feel like the dogs actually know when massage day is. And, and they just, they get it. And as soon as I get there, they're super happy to see me. Of course I bring cookies and they love that, but they just get on the massage mat and they're like, yeah, I need this. And sometimes you can tell the dog really, really needs it, especially the real active dogs. So what else can you do? You can massage, basically the, the rule of thumb, so to speak, no pun intended, is there's really no wrong way to massage a dog as long as you're not contacting bone directly, okay? You don't want to massage bone, just like you wouldn't want somebody to massage a bone on yourself. You want that muscle massage. So think about what you love. Is it a neck rub? Is it a shoulder rub? Is it a back rub? Do you like getting your forearms massaged? This is a spot, for example, that I think a lot of dog owners might not even consider doing and this is like imagine how good it feels to get your own uh, forearms rubbed and your arms massaged dogs have this great length of fascia that runs along their front legs and this can really put them in a zone when you do this and and just remember whenever you're working on your dog if you're doing a little home massage pay attention to their cues pay attention to their signals your dog will tell you if it feels good. Your dog will tell you if maybe you're hitting a sore spot, maybe you're hitting an area of tension. They're going to let you know. So pay attention to your dog's signals. And if it's giving you that signal that maybe it's a little too sore or a little too sensitive, you can go to a different area. Okay. Like, for example, I'm working on her shoulders right now. You'd be surprised at how many knots dogs can get in their shoulders. When I'm doing a, a professional session, I typically start at the head, I work on the neck, I work on the shoulders, and I'm looking for all of the things I talked about that tie into the benefits. I'm looking for areas of imbalance. Is there an area of tension on one side that's more than the other? Is there, are there knots in the shoulders, right? There's a lot of things that can happen. And if you think about it, and this occurred to me before this class, now that we're all kind of been in lockdown, we're spending more time with our dogs, which is a good thing, but I would encourage you to use that time to actually observe your dog more closely. I think people kind of just don't think about watching their dog, even to the point of do they, when they first start walking, do they leave with their left paw or their right paw? Are they left-sided or are they right-sided? Um, how do they move? How do they jump? When they walk, do they favor one leg? Are they, are they favoring a knee? Are they walking? Does their gait seem balanced? Or is it a little bit off balance? Because dogs can't talk to us and a lot of times they're very stoic and they don't actually want to show anything. So they kind of, they figure out ways to adapt. So they'll shift their weight to compensate for an injury. There's a lot of things that you can observe. And you'd be surprised if you start observing your dog on a regular basis and just think about, all the things they do, the jumping up, the jumping down, the running, the walking, the trotting, and then think how you would feel if you had that much activity 
in a day. When you woke up the next morning, you'd probably be sore and and uh, thinking about getting a massage yourself. So that's something fun you guys can do with your dogs as well. Just kind of observe them more than just being your dog. Kind of observe more than their behavior, but how they move physically. It's very, very important. So that's really all there is to it. And you just, I just work my way down. I'll work on the front legs. Uh, their, their chest muscles are really important. Underneath what you would call the armpit of ourselves. That's a really good spot. Okay. And you've got the back leg muscles, which are very, very important. Uh, a lot of times I'll do things called percussion where you go up and down along the spine. Now, like I said before, as long as you're not hitting that spine, you can do a little bit of this percussion up and down the back. And what that does is it helps release the endorphins because man, I think I forgot to mention that is one of the benefits. And that's actually one of the best benefits. There's nothing funnier and cooler than seeing a dog when they really get those endorphins going, man. they. Uh, it's not uncommon for dogs to pass out and fall asleep during a session. A lot of times it makes them kind of goofy. And what's also interesting, depending on the kind of dog you have, what I've noticed is that if a dog is really into controlling and being the alpha, sometimes they don't like the endorphins when they start to kick in because it makes them feel like they're losing control and they actually fight it. Now, if you have a dog that's a hedonist like my dogs are, they're like, bring on the endorphins, you know. I want to feel good. I want that nature's Novocaine to course through my, my veins and make me feel good. Another thing I like to recommend to my clients as well is uh, CBD for dogs. And you can research that on your own. You can reach out to me in private. I'll tell you what I recommend. I'm sure Healthy Spot sells some. Uh, it's really, really good for dogs. And it's actually even better for dogs than it is for people because they have even more cannabinoid receptors than dogs do. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. And depending on the size of the dog, that determines how long my sessions are. And like I said, you can find out all this information on my website or you can reach out to me. And remember, massage 10, you get $10 off the session. All right, so... One thing that I really uh, am excited about is I get a chance to show you guys some really cool products from Primal, some products that might inspire you to actually use that uh, discount code, that $10 off, okay? So I'm gonna start out with these cool treats here. They're called Chicken Shredders, and I'm just gonna read the description while you look at this. Oh, it's got my dogs running to it. You will notice that this bag has already been opened because I wanted, I, I'm a firm believer that I'm not going to recommend a product to my fellow dog owners <laughs> unless I've tried it out on my own dogs. Same goes with CBD. All of the things that I preach, I don't do it unless I've tried it out on my dogs first. So I wanted to see, you know, how my dog's going to react to these chicken shredders. They're really, really good. Okay, so from Primal, they're a crispy, wholesome snack or training treat. Okay, I know that I love, I got my dog clients conditioned. They know when I get there, I'm going to give them a little treat before the session. And then I give them another treat after the session. So it's a great, that's a good example of how you can use these treats. They're good for rewarding and for training, like it says here. And they're made from a single source protein. So they're really good for your dogs. Some of the benefits, they're single source, like I mentioned. They have, they're a high protein snack. There's no grain, no gluten, and no preservatives. That's what you want in dog, anything that you're gonna give your dog. And there's no added salt or sugar. So they're really, really good, okay? I'll, I'll pull one out of the bag, as you can see, if Daisy allows me to here. So they kind of look almost like jerky. Let's see here, so. <laughs> and, and Daisy's happy to be a taste tester. And Lola's down. You can't see Lola, but she's getting the other piece. So what I like about them, too, is a lot of times you have these soft dog treats, and I swear my dogs just inhale them. They don't even chew them. What I like about these is it inspires the dogs to chew them a little bit because they're not easy to just swallow. You don't want them to do that. So they kind of inspire them to chew them first, which is great. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is this is really cool stuff here. I'm going to show this to you. 
check this out. It's primal pork bone broth. Man, if you're like me and you've ever made bacon, you know your dogs get bacon lust, man. Pork, dogs love all things pork. And I love this concept because one of the things about, if you've had a massage yourself, you'll know that one of the things they tell you after a session is you want to drink lots of fluids. You want to hydrate yourself after a massage session because everything's going to be excreted faster, your blood flow is going faster. And I have a lot of clients that understand this and some do some pretty creative things like they give their dog coconut water after a session. And it occurred to me this would be an awesome thing to give a little bit of this to a dog after a massage. It's hydrating obviously it's a wholesome addition to any diet and it's got beneficial nutrients to support joint health and that's what we want right we want to start before we notice the symptoms we want to start doing things for our dog that's going to prolong that joint decay it's going to prolong those things and massage is good for that as well but what we put in our dog's body and what we let them drink all those things help promote a longer life and a better quality of life. Okay, so this stuff is great for joint health, digestion and liver health. We all know that liver is a pretty important organ in our bodies as well as our dogs. And it's suitable for dogs and cats. So if you have a cat and dog household, guess what? You can see if they both like it. What are the benefits of this really cool pork broth? It provides vital moisture to your pet's diet and it's got organic turmeric in it. Some of you might already know that turmeric is an anti-inflammatory natural thing. It's got a natural anti-inflammatory property. I know a lot of people that take it themselves, and I know a lot of people that give it to their dogs for that reason. So it's a natural anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and a detoxifying herb as well. Okay, last but not least, we have this cool stuff here. Okay, let me read the description for you. And this is Primal Fresh Topper Omega Muscles, okay? Just gonna open this up really quick. It's, it's a nice consistency. And as, as it turned out today, my dogs are very finicky and they decided that today for all days, they were gonna stop eating their food. They like to do that. It's expensive food and it's annoying. So what I did to see how good this stuff was, I mixed some of this in with their food and guess what? they ate their food. So that, that says it all right there. Okay, and it's aromatic. Man, if they like the smell of fish, they're gonna love this. And it also is for cats too. So if you have a cat that's, that loves fish, that'll work for them too. So it's a, it can be an appetite stimulant, a topper for your food. It's targeted towards digestion, immunity, uh, joint health. Okay, it's got Omega Muscle, Melange supports joint health with muscle meat, turmeric, apple cider vinegar, and pork bone broth. All of that stuff is in this mix right here. And it's suitable for both dogs and cats. The benefits include muscle meat because of its unique properties. It support muscle support joint health. You get the omega-3 fatty acids, the glucosamine and chondroitin, the collagen-rich pork bone broth which provides even more glucosamine and chondroitin. We all know that's really good for joint health and helps prevent arthritis. And it's got the organic turmeric and organic raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar, which helps support a healthy skeletal system. So pretty cool stuff here. And just think you guys can get 10% off this stuff. All right. So that's really about it. We have about eight minutes left. So I have five questions that were sent ahead of time. I'm going to go over those first. And if we have any time left, you guys can submit questions to me in the comments section. Okay. So question one from Coda and Kuma. Does massage help with hip dysplasia? That's a great question. Like I said, I have a lot of senior dogs. And while canine massage isn't going to treat hip dysplasia directly, what it does is it helps with all the side effects that come from that, right? The stiffness, the arthritis, the, the soreness, the tightness in the muscles. I, I spend time with dogs like that. I massage their hip flexors and I work around the hip pointers 
and I help loosen all that area and the blood flow also helps send the oxygen and the nutrients directly to those parts of the body that really need it. So yeah, to answer your question, it does help. And my clients with senior dogs would agree with me, I think. Okay, I hope that answers your question. Question number two, what are the best techniques for spine focus? And this is uh, miniature dachshund mama and papa in the house. This is from at Circle Nordstrom. Uh, I think I kind of covered this already. And the best technique for spine focus, I think I showed you that. Daisy, Daisy, come here, come here. Anyway, um, where I did the percussion, not touching the spine directly, but on the soft tissue on either side of the spine, you just lightly tap up and down on either side of the spine, and that's going to help promote the endorphin release, and that's a really good way to trigger a lot of good stuff. So I hope that's what you meant by that. So spine focus, uh, if you mean massage specific, I do a lot of work on the entire length of the spine, from the lumbar all the way to the neck. Very, very important. I'll tell you, some dogs, they have so much tension in their back that when I start to work on their back, you can literally see the back spasms visually. You don't even have to feel it. You can see the back spasming. And, you know, it feels good to me when I can, over the course of a session, I can help get those spasms to maybe not even go away completely, depending on how bad they are, but I can greatly diminish them. And that gives a lot of relief to the spine and the back. Okay. Number three from Kalea Sky, I'm guessing. How to massage away stress during high anxiety like fireworks and thunder. Now, one thing that I couldn't do today because Instagram shuts down your video if it hears any music that it thinks is a copyright violation. And one thing that I do during the sessions when I'm massaging a dog is I have this really cool device called the iCalm Dog and it's got specially curated classical music. Classical music, as a general rule, if you're gonna play music for your dog, maybe they get separation anxiety, or you just want them to maybe be a little stressed out when you're not around, it's a really good idea to play classical music. There's been research that has been conducted that has shown that dogs really respond positively to classical music, that it does reduce their stress. So music is one component. Uh, CBD for dogs is an excellent component as well. A lot of humans take CBD to, because of its neurological properties. It's a stress reliever. It also is an anti-inflammatory CBD, so it's a great thing. So music, CBD, and the massage itself, like I mentioned, if you're massaging your dog for a, a decent amount of time, you're going to help release those endorphins. Endorphins are nature's novocaine. They're going to make your dog feel really good. It's going to help them forget about whatever is stressing them out. And I think the combination of those three with the increased blood flow is a great way to help not only reduce stress, but anxiety too. Okay. Question number four from at uh, Churro, Churro, I don't know, something. I can't say this one, sorry. Um, does it help with undesirable behavior traits such as anxiety and or aggression? Talked about anxiety a little bit. I will say that if you have a dog, now there's some dogs, it's rare, but I have met a few dogs that you just, they don't like to be touched and that's, that's unfortunate. Most dogs though, even when they're shy, if you're gentle and you go slow, you, it can really help, especially if you've rescued a dog. Maybe this dog doesn't historically view human touch as a good thing. Maybe they view their experience in the world has been, oh man, when that hand comes near me, that's not a good thing. So what massage, I think, can really do for dogs like that is it teaches them the power of touch as a healing energy. And that human touch can be a really wonderful thing. And it can teach a dog over time that, you know what? I like being touched by people. It feels good. So I think that that is one example of how it can really help. Because if a dog's not stressed out about humans going to touch them, they're going to be less inclined to bite that hand 
and do bad behaviors, okay? Last but not least, question five. Is there a wrong way to massage a dog that could be harmful? And this is from at Superberk. And I believe I answered that question, but it's a great question. And there's no real wrong way, as long as you're not massaging bone directly. And I forgot to mention one thing that I do. If you want to instill comfort to a bony area, what you do is you cup your hand, say, over the knee or the hip pointer, and you just cup your hand over that. I use a, my own version of like a Reiki uh, touch healing where you cup your hand over that spot. It's going to generate heat, and heat is always comforting. And then you can, what I do, if you're into meditation, what I do when I have my hand over that, that bony part, I just imagine bringing in the universal healing energy from outside. I bring that in and I take the energy and I let it go through my arm, through my hand and into the dog, wherever I'm putting my hand. It could be on the hips, it could be on the knee, the elbow joint, wherever that might be. Okay, well that's the questions and it looks like it's 529, so I'm pretty much out of time. Um, if you have any other questions for me, don't be shy. Reach out to me through Instagram at Dancing Dog Gene. You can go to my website. You can send me an email from the contact page. You can send me a text. I'm here for you. My mission is to make sure that dogs have the best quality of life possible. So thanks again to Primal and Healthy Spot. Don't forget to post a pic of your pet relaxing at Healthy Spot, at Primal Pets, at Dancing Dog Gene. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the class and hopefully some of you will reach out to me and take advantage of that $10 discount on a massage session for your dog. Hug your fur babies for me and enjoy the rest of your day.